we about to do this uh, crazy sick shit. That's what I say. He wanted to see people's reaction. That's what it I is. I think it's like, very enlightening. Enlightening? Please, continue. I haven't seen these videos You know either. what? That only would come from somebody who... Oh, it must be bad. ...has almost no, seen your face somebody. Back there, it's beautiful. Oh, I'm scared now. I, I feel That's like you see art. my dude it's is great art. Art. I mean, I I'm like... scared now. Welcome to another episode of Hot Boxing. I'm Mike Tyson, and we have the beautiful, beautiful Leslie Jones here. Why that? And she's my co-host. Hopefully, she stays my co-host. Well. And we got the baddest nigga on ridiculousness here, besides yeah. his buddy Rob. I love it. The only nigga. Yes, exactly. yes. Yeah. I noticed that. But I, I noticed that. I noticed that real good. <laughs> you know? But listen. He's a TV oh host, God. he's a rapper, he's an artist. We're gonna talk about it. I never heard a nigga rap. But anyway, <laughs> the one, the only, Skeeto Brown. Thank What's you. What's up, man? Thank you for having me for real, man. Man, no, that's my Long pleasure. Long time coming. I'm a huge fan, obviously. Nah, so. I, knew, I, I, I worked with you before and I saw you a very distinguished, you know, you're a sharp brother. I appreciate that, man. Not I the try average to be. guy. You're not the average guy. I love that. I love to hear that from a great, for real. Oh, listen, um, um, if you have to be one or no one. My guy, I love it. It's gonna be a great day. It's gonna be a great day. <laughs> <laughs> Why you got your sunglasses on? Cause because I just about rapping. this rapping shit. Yeah, yeah the first part about rapping, this. you keep your sunglasses hey, on. But listen, door. do you know rules. this? Everybody that's been there, <laughs> right? Everybody that's been here at the end, rappers, they spit a verse. What? I ain't never seen that. Mike, you just made that part up. Hey, hey, so show the people that spit verses. Who are the people? <laughs> oh, you shit. listen. Once you, got, you see you this, you gotta be able to show that shit, man. Look, I mean, Mike, I just started rapping I, like a year ago. Rap, Style P spitting here too, right? Style's people rapping for 27 years. I just nah, started rapping a year ago. You gotta think like you're rapping 27 <laughs> years. You gotta look at them niggas and say, that when fuck I dropped them. the project. I'm proud nah, of them. Nah, you gotta you know? say, fuck them. I'm getting mines now. Watch me flay. You know exactly, that? But you, but exactly. you remember your first fights and you wouldn't have stepped huh? in there and necessarily been like, I could fight the great right away, right? Now listen. I believe my first fight, I was ready for immortality. I love it. Exactly. exactly. Defeat me already. I love ready it. ready to go in there and <laughs> die for oh, it. I love it. I wanted to win championships more than I wanted to breathe, nigga. Yeah. yeah. So Ooh. you got to ah. Oh, cool. I love that. See, now that's how you got to want to get that verse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you uh, got to want to get that verse. I hit you with the verse at the end, for sure. Oh, definitely. Before so we out of here, for sure. Okay. Hey, okay. Want to hear some verses? Some people spitting in here. Oh, my God. You got to trust. I know you ain't out here lying. I trust. I ain't going to be here. I'm gonna get some lines and spit. Shit, you ever drop something? You ever record something? Nah, I did um, New York, New York before Frank Sinatra. When I was like 18 years old, me and a bunch of um, stars, white, you know, some white boys that get Albany, New York school, <laughs> college, and we just sing it. I, we, I never saw, saw him before in my life. <laughs> just high doing shit. Unlock your confidence with the Performance Package 4.0. Inside, you'll find the holy grail of men's grooming items. Michael Myers sure is scary, but the last thing you need is to be hairy this Halloween. Luckily, our friends at Manscaped launched their fourth-generation performance package to make sure your pumpkins get the ultimate carving experience on this spooky day. Ugh. Unlock your confidence with the Performance Package 4.0. Inside, you'll find the holy grail of men grooming items. It's a full moon out there. Or should I say it's a full moon out. And the werewolf in your pants is howling. Oh, it's time to tackle that problem with the lawnmower. 4.0. That's my lawnmower sound. Their finely tuned pube products feature a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents. Ugh. Thanks to their advanced skin safe technology, the Lawnmower 4.0 is easily the greatest ball trimmer whoa, on the planet. Oh, did I mention this trimmer is waterproof too, Mike? Wow, this trimmer is a, is a shower essential, buddy. Wow, the Performance Package 4.0 also includes a weed whacker, a nose and ear hair trimmer that provides proprietary skin-safe technology that helps prevent snicks, snags, and tugs. Seal the deal with Manscaped's liquid formulations. Ooh, their Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and Crop Reviver Ball Toner will make sure your pumpkin stays fresh. Trust me when I say this, fellas. Your balls will be thankful. 
Also, if you're looking like Wolverine and haven't cut your nails recently, be sure to look into the Shears 2.0 nail kit. Manscaped also launched their new body buffer, 100% antibacterial body scrubber. Manscaped even threw in two free gifts to their performance package 4.0, the Manscaped boxes and the, sh- the, and the shed travel bag. Bring your comfort and boxes to another level. Get 20% off free shipping with the code HOTBOXM at manscaped.com. Again, that's 20% off plus free shipping with the code HOTBOXM at manscaped.com. Say trick or treat to your beautiful new halloween with Manscaped. The best time to prepare for growth is between the opportunity arrives, especially for online businesses. ShipStation sets you up for growth by directly integrating with every shopping cart and storefront. So your products are easier to find, easier to manage, and easier to get into the hands of happy customers. One way I like to avoid holiday stress is getting on top of our online products and shipping before the shipping season starts. The easiest way I've found to do this is with ShipStation. This way we don't have to feel overwhelmed and play catch up and can feel reassured that our customers are receiving their order on time. No more limiting your business to one store. ShipStation integrates with every platform, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, etc., making it easy to manage all your shipping from one simple dashboard. This helps to maximize your sales with minimal effort. Save time with consolidated order management and automated shipping updates for your customers. Easily compare carriers, rates, and delivery times to get the most out of every send. Join and support companies using ship stations such as Sock Club and Siete Foods. Get the same discounted shipping rates as Fortune 500 companies, whether you're sending a stack or a truck full. Go to ShipStation.com today and sign up with promo code HOTBOXING for a free 60-day trial. Start today and get set up before the biggest shipping season of the year. Again, that's two months free. Visit ShipStation.com, click the microphone at the top, and type in code HOTBOXING. Makes sense. Come on, man. Let's talk about you, man. Yeah. Tell okay, us about so this rapping. Who, 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 who inspired uh, you to do this Chicago. shit? You know, I used to A&R when I first moved out here. I was doing when music. You in Chicago, you were doing music? No, I was actually, uh, I started A&R in Baltimore. I went to Morgan State. Uh, You're sticking with that black shit. Right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. HBCU, you know, HBCU. I used to go sure. around there, you know, hang out, drive, and see Yeah, Baltimore, wild, stuff. too. Huh? I went from Chicago right to Baltimore. It was one hood from the other to the that other shit. one. Baltimore it's crazy vicious, shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You did A&R out there? Who did yeah, you yeah. discover out there? No, I was working uh, with Songbook Entertainment, so Trey Songs, Troy Taylor, those were the artists I first started with. Troy Taylor was running the business. And uh, from there, I was just like, f*** it. My best friend was moving to L.A. full time, and he was like, yo, I think you'll fit in out here. I dropped my shit after my freshman year and just moved to L.A., and I ain't, I ain't left since. But uh, yeah, I was doing music out there. So me coming in back around and doing rap now was just me kind of getting back into what I came did out here for e- in the first place. Ever, um, did you ever do collabs so far? Did yeah. You get on the- my, my new record just out right now is with Larry June. Uh, shout out to Larry June. I have Fab on my project. Yeah, Fabulous? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shout out to the Fabulous yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, uh, Aaron Ray, Buddy. Uh, Days low. There's a whole bunch of people, but yeah, I'm, I'm, as I'm con- as I'm just getting here, I'm just slowly getting there. You know what I'm saying? Each day. How's your um, confidence level? It, it's it's great. I try not to come across too too aggressive, too cocky. You know, I, I'm a Gemini. Sometimes I be Gemini. You're crazy. Oh, yeah, I'm Gemini. a crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. no yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. And need attention. No, I didn't. Okay, I don't know why we dissing people. We just got here. Okay? Yeah, we got it. <laughs> but, uh, that's what Gemini's is with their multi personality. Multi personality. Yeah. Crazy is a motherfucker. No, I'm just saying that y'all have 17 personalities. I think it's just two, right? Yeah, and it's just... 17. No, it's a bunch. my wife's a Gemini, so she, I go outside, please. 
be nice when you go out. Please be remember to be nice if you get tired. Come damn. home, right? Now, if I got a man, fuck you, you don't know the fuck I am, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, damn. So, My damn. girl is here just Gemini, smiling off camera. Just, just yeah, that's never it. know what a Gemini going to do. Yeah, and I they, they're, they're very, they do. They got but I'm power. aware. But I'm aware. I like to think of you myself aware. as an aware Gemini. Yeah, but Geminis have a problem. You know what's so You need crazy? more it's, fear in your life, It's man. the signs, You need to have some more they, fear they know that they fucked up. They always say, like, Scorpios. You talk to Scorpios, they'd be like, no, I'm not that kind of Scorpio. You're exactly that type of Scorpio. No, yeah. nah, what if uh, I'm going to therapy? What if I'm working on myself each day? But I'm doing I like that, that too, yeah. but shit. Jim and I just have to talk shit. They want to fight motherfuckers and control yeah, people too. They want to control motherfuckers. Hey, niggas are right. They just keep saying yeah. shit. They just want to control the motherfuckers. That's me. Yeah. I don't know. Got, you know, <laughs> devil spawn, you and Scorpios, but it's cool. Uh, you know. I think we're creative as shit. I yeah, think we're talented as fuck. Yes, bad You know, we're geniuses. Yeah, we are crazy. I think, like you just said, you in order to be a genius, in order to be a great, you got to be flawed. You know? I think I'm great. I'm flawed as well. Yeah, flawed, flawed, because you got 17 personalities. So, Damn of course, it. you know how to rap. <laughs> Do all that <laughs> shit, you right? You probably know how to make pizza and bread. And some Why would I not? Because you... They got TikTok ball, that shit, man. <laughs> Kami Kona make great high quality Japanese steel kitchen knives using traditional technology from Japan. Kami Koto only uses steel source from mills in Japan. Each blade is crafted using techniques that each been honed and perfected by generations of knife smiths. Each Kami Koto knives goes through a rigorous 19 step process that takes several years from start to finish to complete. Each knife is individually inspected and comes with a lifetime guarantee. Each knife comes in a heavy duty ashwood box this makes Kamikoto a great gift because of the wooden box the knives are presented in. The product range features a vast array of Japanese steel knives, such as a three-piece Genpeki knife set, which includes a Nakiri vegetable knife, which is 7 inches long, the slicing knife, which is 8.5 inches long, and the utility knife, which is 5 inches long. The Kamikoto Senteku blade is 7 inches long. All the blades and the handles have satin finish for a subtle yet stunning luster. Because of their single bevel edge, Kami Koto knives can achieve an unbelievable sharp edge. You just can't get one with other knives. They cut through your steak like butter. You can maintain the edge of your blades with the Kami Koto sharpening whetstones. Kami Koto knives are used by several chefs working at Michelin star restaurants all over the world. Kamikoto is now running a Black Friday sale and is offering our viewers an extra $50 off on any purchase with a discount code HOTBOXIN. On top of a special offers, go to kamikoto.com slash hotboxin to get your knife set. That's kamikoto.com slash hotboxin for extra $50 off any purchase. <laughs> What's yeah. on your TikTok? Cause since you're on ridiculousness, I, I just got on TikTok. I was one really, of, yeah. Like you just said, don't grow up too fast. I'm one yeah. of them uncle niggas that was like, I ain't getting no fucking TikTok. Y'all won't never catch me out here doing no TikTok. And he got me out here TikTok. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. That's, that's information. You got me out here doing exactly. all this. You information. Got, you got, yeah. So first of all, when back in the day when Twitter first came, I, all that shit, MySpace, all that, and I was telling comedians, I was like, man, we gotta get with that shit. And they was like, no, we know, we're real. Cause I was like, you gonna how have many to numbers you get? Yeah. Man. You got to. You got to You got to progress. You got to yep. evolve. Yeah. Yep. yep. And then I always knew to keep my shit clean. Because because when they went back and looked at Kevin Hart's shit, I literally told my sister and I said, please go back and yeah. see what the fuck I was posting 10 years yeah. ago. And she was like, nothing but gigs. She was like, just gigs and sometimes a funny video. She's we, like, have Kevin, we, we had Kevin ass here too. Yeah. He was pretty awesome on the show. You gotta leave room though for people to evolve. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Because I'll, I'll absolutely. be real with you. I, I had to go I back and, and, and do some digging and delete shit myself. Yeah, yeah. And no, be like, I yo, I, that. That one, they ain't the same person who's I, here today. I agree with that. But I agree with that yeah. 100%. 100%. We, we change. I feel exactly. like that cancel shit is just not letting somebody grow. And it's, not at it's all. a culture that's in some bullshit. If it's a continuous, yeah, I get it. It's it's out of here. But it's if it's some, not, it's some bullshit culture. It's some yeah. bullshit culture right now. Motherfuckers need to grow the fuck up. That's mm. what that's what it is. And people need to understand that people do. Grow we don't the even fuck know up. ourselves. If we knew who we were now, we'd be exactly. We'd be limited, exactly. motherfucker. 
Oh, right. I, tell so myself, I tell myself all the time when I'm when I'm going through stuff or when I look at what I have, I go, the only person that can appreciate this shit is me. I would have to quantum leap back yeah. and bring me yeah. to this motherfucker to show what the f look the f to see the real growth. But I know for cer I'm certain that I would rob myself. I tell you one thing. <laughs> he don't <laughs> look like, like give me the case. <laughs> give me your fucking money. I he don't look like, like a starch <laughs> nigga though, huh? He been bad. He don't look like no nigga. You know, starch. Yes. Huh? No. He he ate starch. Have what you, you mean? That? What that even? <laughs> like I was first, I was confused at first. Starch to me is like niggas iron pants. Said. Yeah, That's jailhouse shit. Niggas That's starch your pants. Said. Niggas said eating starch. Who eating starch? Like, who is no you? Are? No, when I was a kid. I had no oh shit! Just like pure starch. What's that even yeah. look like? How they even just sell starch? Hey, hey. Starch. Is it like baking soda? Strong yeah. white people eat starch right now. I would never eat starch. <laughs> again. You I love starch. that again. Of the, again. Look at this. Look at these. Look people. at this. White what people is? like. Oh no, that's not a. That's woman. a black person. That, Why y'all click that video? Who in charge? He asked you for white people. The first video you clicked was a black person. It was a setup. That's a poor white motherfucker. Only poor white people do this shit. And this. And maybe some Puerto Ricans. And, and maybe some the sprinkles of Puerto Ricans in there. I but, love but, it. but I don't even understand the purpose yeah. of it. But what does it do for you? Are you but like getting stronger or something? No, no, we had nothing else to eat. That's what he said. I didn't understand. I didn't understand. Yeah. Did it but, fill you up? Huh? Did it fill you up? I felt full of the motherfucker. See, my dad. That's because you were bloated. I know that. <laughs> I guess I had good shit though. Starts just. My daddy swore he ate a uh, a bacon soda sandwich before, but I think he was just lying to make us feel like we had it good. No. He was that type of nigga to be like, yo, no, he's not that one. A bacon soda sandwich. And you be like, that's not a real thing. Uh, yes, it was. We, 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 we had soda sandwiches in the hood. He was like, y'all niggas privileged. <laughs> Oh, I was shit. just talking to one of the dudes and, uh, and he was saying like I I you know I know it's the starch like he said you never had powdered milk and I was like oh no I've had powdered milk before and he was like you know you put some water you put in water it in there. there right yeah but did you did you ever eat your cereals with pep milk you remember carnation pep yeah, milk I don't I'm know listening. why they call it pep milk the round can I don't know why they and call you had to go like tension yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 man you put that shit on some cereal <laughs> concentrate it was too she sweet though that, that was sweet as a motherfucker yeah you better die. Diabetes right there. Delicious. You know, they, they tried to kill us back then. They don't they feed nobody that what? shit. What? They was giving us all the, the, the cheese. You remember the cheap cheese? Who that Ooh, big log? I, yeah. I remember when organic came out. I chunks of that shit and eat it. I was like, you ain't going to never. You ever had a free lunch, man? You, you ever wait on line yeah. for free lunch? Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. What about summertime free lunches? Oh, my God. Let me say, can I say something the first? Oh, my God. Right? I need some fucking best No, no, no. The driest sandwich you're going to eat. I have no food, but you, take, you go up there. I only got three people, my friend. I said, I got 17 sisters and brothers. So they pack all the bags. I go back. I put the sandwich, the milk, the orange here. And I go outside. I said, you guys hungry? Everything OK? Anybody need some food? And I felt so bad. I had fucking free lunch in there, but I felt like a big shot. Yo, yo, the free lunch during the summertime was the fucking best. You go, we go to the pool first. Yes, go to the pool. And Hope then, you don't get your sneakers stolen. Yeah. You know, California oh, no, got free lunch. We used to put our sneakers now. right there by yeah. the fucking pool. And but you they will get you, won't. nigga. No, no, for we was just a gang. Like, you fucking touch our shoes, the whole family, you got to fight all of us. How many? Man, there's a gang of us. My my, my grandmother had like 13 God brothers damn. and sisters. Yeah, that's so what they we was doing back then. So we had a gang of cousins and shit, and we would all go to the pool and had a whole corner of that motherfucker. Was condoms not out? They, what was happening back then? Nah, niggas. Because my family, we were fucking. I just had my family. We got fucking, nigga. Nigga, fucking. You right. You fucking. fucking. Right. That is How else is it to not be depressed? Sexual you in, have brothers and sisters? Hell yeah. House. All right. No, I mean, it, it's four of us. My mama and them, it's nine of them, it's eight of my dad and them. So it's, oh, a, it's, yeah, a, it's a big know ass. No, you know I get up? it. I'm just asking, like, nah, nah. how much more fucking was really going on? They had jobs, didn't they? Shit, niggas. They my, father, my, father, all the they my dad had like 27 kids or something. Wow. My god brother got 50, his dad kids. got 56. Yeah. Which is insane. You just We're southern down. niggas, man. We're so, I'm born in now, Brooklyn, but we're southern just, yeah. niggas. Okay, this, I swear to God, I was thinking this the other day. I was like, I'm wondering... Because, okay, it started off with me looking at a billboard with the Kardashians, right? Yeah. And then I said, 
I don't really fuck with them like that, but I do like Chloe, right? And then I was like, uh, Chloe's probably, because Michael Che had a crush on Chloe at one time. He was okay. like, oh, I like her. And I was like, yeah, Chloe would fuck with Michael Che. Oh, because Michael Che probably can't fuck, and Chloe's going to fuck with people who know how to fuck. <laughs> That's crazy. Right? So, so people then, walk past you so, like, yeah, he can't fuck. Right? No, but, <laughs> no, but I mean, I was like, he probably can't fuck like the way that Chloe wants, because Chloe fucks with like dudes. What's that dude that keep fucking her over? Uh, the, Our baby daddy. Tr Tristan, okay. So then I thought about Tristan. So you know Tristan. he fucking good. Right, yeah. So I was, right. so I was thinking about Tristan. I was like, oh, Tristan. <laughs> no, it went to a whole circle. I was like, so then I thought about, I was like, then he got a whole bunch of kids. And I said, wait a minute. I wonder if there's a theory to that the dudes that keep having all these kids, are they just breeders? Yes, yes. Are they just supposed to be breeders? Are they supposed to be put somewhere and just breed? Because normally like, I would think girls would stay away from those guys. Nick got 17 guy. kids. Oh. That's his year. Wait a minute, what? No, how future, many kids? How many future got? Future got, got, got at least 12 kids. Get like the that. fuck yeah. out of here. Nah, Nick Cannon is not, out putting eight dicks in the Nick Cannon went from poop three time. kids so to... Listen, listen, putting it in there and keeping it in there and letting it stay in there. Mm -hmm. Like, what the fuck? Okay. Hey, man, listen. <laughs> listen. You, you never know when you got your last fuck, baby. You got to keep going. But this is what I'm saying. Like, is there a thing to it? Is there a thing? No, he got 10. Like, is it only 10 for real? Are we just saying that? Yeah. They can play full court, it's though. It's got to be more. The niggas have a pickup kids. game. That's all you need. You got soon, 10 kids. Soon as I, hey, soon as no, I got this married, is what I'm saying, oh, wait, so let's clip them. This is what I'm saying. But maybe, like, <laughs> let's only their baby. sperm is supposed to be in the banks or something. Because they like there's 100% that they're going to, you know, do what they need to yeah, do. Yeah, you gotta be, you, you essentially are a breeder because you're not gonna be there for all the kids. Like, you can't. Then you think about, like, think about, think about Handmaid's Tale. At some point, you, you're gonna have to go through the men and go, who the fuck is actually getting motherfuckers pregnant? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And put them somewhere too. Like, it's, okay. I'm high. I want to, yeah, high is good. I got, I was going to tell you about some of my pregnant stories, but my wife said, I said, no, that's probably not cool to talk about. <laughs> Respect. That's what's right there. That's the no, fear. <laughs> Jimmy, yeah. that's fear. Yeah. Fear. Okay, fear. wait a minute. We got to get back. Okay, how did you meet Rob? Uh, I met Rob because, again, I was doing A&R, and uh, his cousin wanted to do a, a publishing production company, and he knew I was a, a, a dude that had a, a decent network. And he knew he saw me doing A and R work, and he asked me to help him. I helped him. Rob probably comes to the studio, came to the studio maybe twice. See, that's something. And was about, like, "Hey, you listen, funny as fuck." A Gemini, they make themselves very useful. That you need them now. Yeah, they, yeah, they make themselves why very useful. Why would you not need me? With they ten I see, that's that shit. See? After you meet me, you need me. See, that's you that bullshit. You just <laughs> manipulated us. You know what I'm saying? There's a yeah, bar right there. After, after yeah, you meet me, you need me. See, that's, that that's some Teddy P shit, ain't it? <laughs> I don't know who Teddy P. 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 And then uh, called me three months later and was like, hey, this is Rob. I didn't know him from a hole in the wall. I didn't have his number. He was like, that show I mentioned, we started tomorrow. Can you be there at 10 a.m.? Wow. Creepy I fucking Rob, you, you know? Yeah, I went, and here we are. 11 years. Don't you love it? Over hey, but here. listen, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I'm blessed, man. I'm super blessed. Man. Congratulations. That's, that's fucking love. I appreciate that. Wait a minute, what does this say? Sometimes ankle? it's so big, you almost you hate by acting. God, this shit's still on, man. What the fuck? It's 12 at night, right? Like, yeah. What the fuck? It's still oh, they gonna on. keep it on. <laughs> oh, they can motherfuckers go watch it. Wait a minute. What you is this click? ankle incident? You what gonna click? Oh, man. You got fucked up. Oh, oh shit! Oh nigga, you fucked up, nigga. You got twisted, man. Hey, I ain't never heard you twisted, oh, man. man. This is hilarious. What the fuck? Hey, hey look, look, look. If it make y'all feel better, this happened maybe like five weeks ago. I can't do and it. And your boy is no like motherfucking Wolverine. Oh. You know what I'm saying? You can't keep me down. Now. Can't keep a motherfucking oh, Gemini break. down. So you like, now you're smart. And they had to. Now it was, it I was, know someone who did that. It was dislocated, but they it's super rare. Can we see it though? No, no, Just, I, I, no. We want to no, see it for sure. Let's go for it. Go up. We ain't got a choice. I don't want to die. I, I, I want to see the. Choice. I want to see the J Lo story. <laughs> the what? What's that about? The J Lo story. Oh Lord, what's going on with Jay? Yeah, but my ankle. Uh, it's oh in a man. And shit. Who is that? What's happening? That's me. You fucked up, Jay. Where's it? Come on, let's go down. Chinala, see it all. It
Oh, that's so fucking terrible. But it is hear, terrible. But you hear now. I I, I had somebody uh, knew somebody that did that. It's just, it's it's a rare thing that, yeah, it, that without breaking, if it turns in a certain way, you could just pop it back. Ah, is it a Tybo dislocation? Ah, what was it called? I don't know a what tailless. the fuck it's called. A Taylor's dislocation. Oh, that's TikTok. It's a, it's a, it's a, oh, there it is. It's actually some on TikTok. How you were? You a Ghostbuster, baby? Don't worry about that shit. Damn. What happened? Who's a Ghostbuster? Who said they a Ghostbuster? But yeah, it was it was nah, pointing in a no complete you different you direction. Brain, you got this fucking certificate? No, I'm a Ghostbuster. I'll let you know. You're right a real now. Ghostbuster. I'm, really? No, yeah, no, I, I wanted I, to I, say I, you, but I thought you said so intense, right? No, I just you so angry. Oh, Did you I say believe all that. I have a ring. I so. believe all that. Well, that's, that's that bullshit. Hey, Charlie, you look at this, Leslie. Let's see how tough you are looking at that. Come on, like you gotta let me sometimes stand out. I have a doll. I'm a I'm a nigga like to appreciate people. I have a bust a Ghostbuster doll, even though it looked like Mr. T. Oh okay. shit! I don't know what oh. he gets to you either. I don't know why he getting this. He ain't even here. <laughs> it does look like Mr. Yeah, T. Yeah, they cut my shoe off. Ah. You know, that's what I do for a living. I break down videos. Rewind it real quick. They had to cut my shoe off. Ah. Uh, that's crazy. No, I don't want to see that. <laughs> he needs some Jesus. milk. Ah. Yeah. But as y'all can see, I ain't even crying or nothing. Just, how you sitting there just watching your shit? I'll a nigga just talking to them because I'm a G, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, you're a G, nigga. G like, what else I'm going to do, though, Loki? Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? Ah! Uh, ah! But when you see it, it's crazy because my... Why do I want to see it? I want to see it. My foot look like a bad hand when you see it. <laughs> it looks skinny as hell. It's like a train wreck, but okay, I can't so, help but watch Hey, can we, can we stop this stuff for a minute? Listen, man. <laughs> what gave you... What How gave you, you the audacity that? to want to be in this business? You just um, dreamt I want to be an entertainer? Oh, you mean in general or yeah, this? Are in general. Recording? Oh, no, no. Uh, T.O. is. Terrell Owens actually recording. That's the home. Wait a minute, how did you do this? Football? I'm not hooping. Yep. Yeah, that I landed like... on somebody's no, leg. I jumped up, know, landed that's on that's somebody's that's leg. Clack that. Clack that. Yeah, different direction. Hey, man. Oh. Yeah. I don't want to go. No, but what makes Immigration you to... get ready to come in and grab your ass, man. You sound like some Indians and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you. You're screaming. Are you okay? Love, you catching no. up with your hands up like this? <laughs> it's like I can feel it. Yeah, there you go. There you go. If you go a little further, there you go. Ah! You hear me talking? Just cut it off. Oh, that's my skin, fam. You cut my skin a little bit. Ah! Yeah, oh! get, get the sock off. Oh, you got to really die. Ah! Ah, <laughs> oh, you're fucked up. You get you twisted, dude. You really twisted. I love everybody's reaction. Uh, it doesn't even look real. I know. It's like a bird claw, don't it? Mm -mm -mm. It look crazy. It don't look real. That's why I think it stayed online. Did they? Did they? Had they drugged you by that time? No, no, nah, nah, I'm chilling. You an asshole. No, nah, I'm not. Nah, I hate men. To be real with you, I hate men. To be real with you, the only thing that's going through my head is like, yo, you hey. can't scream in these people's faces. So like, yes, you that, can. Just yes, breathe. you can. So I'm just trying to screaming. breathe. They would have had to breathing. knock me the fuck out. They would have yeah. had to give me a fucking bullet to bite on, bitch. No, I wouldn't have been screaming. I'd be yelling at everyone. Yeah. I was yelling because niggas left me. Because yeah. <laughs> it was so ugly. Everybody was like, ah! Everybody walked away. I said, get back over here, niggas. Somebody got to help me. Yeah, I guess they would leave you. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. That is terrible. Yeah, oh, that, that was pretty time, bad. That, that, that time. hurt me. So, That's okay, so listen. We about to do this... Crazy sick shit. That's what I say. I okay. think it's some crazy sick. I think it's very morbid. Education. I think the word they want me to use is morbid. I think okay. it's ridiculous. It's okay. fucking disgustingly crazy. This is but, not crazy at all. But is Mike is really, really, you know, like, you know, big, and I'm not gonna fight him. So, yeah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna see some. Mike, he wanted to do hey, this. I think it's very I enlightening. I want to see people to get, he wanted to see people's reaction. That's what it I is. I think it's like, very enlightening. Enlightening? Please, continue. I haven't seen these videos. But you either. know what? That only would come from somebody who oh, it must be bad. has no, almost seen somebody. Back there, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Uh, I'm scared now. I, I feel Listen, like you've seen art. Art. Dude, it's great art. Art. I mean, I I'm like, scared now. I feel like you've seen the death in people's eyes. No, wait, can, I, can I, this I, please I begin? Can the show please begin? This is very family oh, orientated. Yeah, yeah. Family or somebody choked some time at the table, but yeah. it's really family orientated. What? Every Wait a minute, then, is family gonna be, it's children, children should they, not watch this. When it kicks this. off like that, yeah, this video is inappropriate. Children should not <laughs> Two times, y'all sure, nigga? 
children. <laughs> oh my God, please. If it makes me laugh, I'm going to fuck that up. That's so it's sad. Live leak, that no, means it's I'm going to be sad. 20 years ago when the internet was uncensored. No, I'm going to be sad. <laughs> what that means? I'm going to be sad. This nigga's going to die for sure. I'm going to be sad. We're about to watch somebody die. What makes wait, you wait, think that back, man's dead? Back, back, you back. think that man's dead? Wait, wait. That man's not dead. Man, get the fuck that out man's of not here, well. man. Okay, that you think that man's dead? Was man. that a piano nigga? This is a cartoon? He got a headache, but I don't think he's dead. <laughs> what is that? Is That's an old TV, so that's the one that you have to... is that a saint? You the fool. Is that a saint? what? Wait a minute, is that Bruce Lee? <laughs> what is that? Like like Bruce Lee. Lee. Oh, no, not the garage. No, no, wait a minute, not it? the... No! Crazy. Look at these homeless what people. What do you mean he propped them up? You, that nigga was dead. They just put his body up like this. Who just picked him up? The dude who picked him up. Go back. I need to see that part. <laughs> or the garage picked him up. Wait, hold on. Oh, you're oh, dirty. Your nigga's dirty, you man. Your nigga, you're rotten. He did his cup in half. He's not well. Cut him Wait, half. we got five minutes of this? This is crazy. Y'all trying to kill us. Now, look, that's not true. Look at this shit. Oh! oh! Oh, 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 everything's what you, foreign. What do you think? You think that's really, that's really ridiculous, huh? This is crazy. <laughs> Are these still on the internet? Yeah. Wait a minute. The whole he, video. Wait a minute, he was there on his phone, that poor man. <laughs> a dirty motherfuckers. Okay. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, he, oh, he did. Did he die? Why would y'all let us hit it? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why not just cut it off before Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What can I say? Look at the brick, look at the brick, the brick. through his heart. I'm guessing. Wait, how you know? You hear him say, no mama. Nigga, this is dark. <laughs> You're <a> dark, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he said, no mama. Oh my God, no mama. Hey, my ears are going to be <laughs> That shit is dark. Hey guys, uh, I think we Yo, did it. I think we are. I think that we we are going to hell. And, no, uh, no, the, no, the guy that hit the guy, the, the guy that hit him, but the guy that the guy that hit him is going to hell. That's who's going to hell. That's a fucked no, up nigga, death. Imagine hitting the corner, nigga, that, all the way like that. The <laughs> nigga just wound up on in the middle of the street. Nigga, what? Oh, I'm responsible now fuck. for this body. I can't leave this body. Oh, I have man. some shit to do, but now I gotta stay here. Ah, That's crazy. Wait, wait, New York, if that shit happened in New York, they would just oh, keep no. walking. Oh, no! Oh, no! Why are you doing this? Whoa, that Make whole it floor! That, oh. All them motherfuckers is dead. That's what happened here. Yeah. The motherfuckers are gonna let you slide and slip right What happened here, hell, man? They, they slipped right into hell. <laughs> He's sitting oh, right in here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ooh! Ooh. Did he cut him in half? Did he have a hip? Nigga, he is not in half. <coughs> Go back. That he might be in half. Call me. How y'all find it? Wait a minute. The motorcycle still going straight up, though. That's what's scary. <laughs> this is your favorite mic. You say wait, wait, wait. no for you. Oh, <laughs> I thought, whoa. Is that him in the <laughs> So, Singer, do we have to stop it on that part, right? Yo, yo, I swear to God. Oh, oh, oh. oh. First of all, how you say like a video game. game? What the fuck? Hey, guys, maybe that's enough, but we just wanted to enlighten no, them on how we... Like, and don't get start the shit. <laughs> oh, my God. That, that was uh, great. That's some shit. We, I was, we, yeah. <laughs> what do you yeah, think? Yeah, it was a nigga in half. We are great. That motherfucker was a it is whole guy. <laughs> and that's another episode of Hot Boxing. <laughs> I'm Mike Tyson. And this is Lindsey Jones. <laughs> and this I, is my man CeeLo Green. Mentally, and I like to I, say, I, I have a wonderful after day. After this episode, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, my God. That was okay, great. well, that was, I don't, we can't, I can't, you can, that was great. That was crazy. Tell me about MTV Cribs. Well, oh, that's what you gonna go into, motherfucker? The segue's just, crazy. And we just watch people's <laughs> lives be taken. The transition was beautiful. Seamless, Mike. Transition went crazy. <laughs> Yo, fucking segue. So how was your crib, nigga? <laughs> Yo, segue is how old is how, how long you had it? My crib, I've been there uh, three years now. Yeah. I didn't, yeah, it's like my third crib on it out here. Oh, uh, nice. I like it. I like it a lot, man. I be really into interior decorating. Oh, you shit. best friend to that nigga Michael B, huh? Yeah, it's my dog. That nigga get a lot of pussy. Don't, oh. you know, y'all be fucking, huh? What? 
Not them. Not us. No, no. I'm telling you, I mean, <laughs> come on, you know that's not what nah, I'm I know saying. What you said. I met uh, Michael. They laying it down, yes. nigga. I met that man, Michael. He that is, man probably get girls. He is a fucking it. gentleman. Like I See? swear to God, you don't like, you get, Michael is. Gentlemen still get pussy now. No, I'm not saying yeah, he don't okay. get pussy, but he is really. <laughs> no, nah, he is a gentleman. He's he is, such he is. a fucking. Would you like fuck a, him? Would you fuck him? Give him some pussy, man. Give okay, the nigga well, some that, pussy, that, man. That, that, Give the nigga some like fucking gentlemen? pussy, no, like, man. Yeah, Come on, man. You don't like gentlemen? So many Stop things went nigga through my dick, head. Man. Give him some the pussy, man. The first thing that came to my head was absolutely on the fucking Sunday raining in a funeral. But then I was like, I'm 55. No, probably not because, like, I feel like I'm older than him. But I don't... Yes. Okay. That's a yes, I would, I would give... Yeah. yeah. Have, you, have you seen his body? He's fucking... I'm looking past me. <laughs> you think you can handle him? <laughs> Do I? Does he? No, the question is, can he handle me? He's younger than you. I'm a whole ho. No, no nigga. I'm a whole ho. It don't matter. You're going to wild out like that. He's going to gut Son, you like a fish, man. man. You saw his body. Nah, nigga, nah. You saw Rocky. No, I mean, Creed. Like, what you going to do? Go, what you going to do? Like, I'll make this shit. Round and pound. Round and pound. Listen, listen, listen. listen. I, I ain't like Because he probably niggas. seen some tricks at this point. I ain't point. like you niggas that got to talk about what the fuck I'm going to do. It's just done. Trust me. Okay. Trust me. Like that. I had a fuck stock relationship with an Israeli for four years. Okay? He knew I was stalking him, but he still fucked me. Okay. <laughs> All right, I can deal with that. Let's see there. going there. <laughs> I respect that. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I, but yeah, I met nah, him nah. Uh, uh, just yesterday. Right here. I met him doing that, that movie Hardball when we was kids. We met we were like 12 years old. My dog for forever, though. I'm proud of him. He's been killing him. Mm -hmm. He's a nice dude, too. Yeah, he really he's really nice, nice dude. Really he's nice very, dude. very nice. I met him at the Laugh Factor for the first... Uh, it was... Uh, and I remember thinking, this guy's I can fuck is, this kid, right? You know, think I thought, what nice posture. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, wow, he's so young. And then, yes, I thought, wow, I could fuck him, but I'm too young. He's too young. But he had really nice posture, and that's what I liked about him. He, he looked you straight in the face. He was a gentleman, talk, like, very respectful. Then the second time I saw him was at the Black Panther premiere, yeah. and just still the same gentleman. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. So, yeah. Chadwick was a nice guy, too. Shout out to them. That's yeah. a mic for sure, yeah. Mr. Ch Chadwick. Mr. Chadwick, bro. Well, come on, talk some more shit, man. What, what are we talking, man? We get some deep shit. We get into Mike. Mike. Ridiculous. I'm not married. My girl right here, but I'm not where? married. Where? Where? Hey, right what's, your, what's her name? Alana. What's her name? Alana, you put up with this piece of shit? Okay. See, see how Alana let nah, me say this that? Nigga that's smooth. honestly how I think This though. nigga's smooth. Each, each day I be like, He's damn, it's crazy she put up with me. Because <laughs> I'm a lunatic. <laughs> How long y'all been together? Uh, three years now. Really? Three years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always... What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that really I don't know. Like? I always just go... I always like to hear when men are in an actual relationship. Like, you go, oh, okay, all right. Our three years is a long time. Like, to get to know somebody, they didn't see your crazy side because you see it after six months. For, for sure. I ain't seen her crazy side, too. Exactly. We in there. Exactly. Yeah. That's, that's we can how. do this crazy together. That's everything. And how old are you? 34. 34, that's a good age. For what? Well, no, I'm just saying, you know, men from 34 to, no, like 32 to like 38. 34 great the prime sex. of your life. Prime of my life. Great bro. sex. Great prime sex. Prime of and your like, life. Me, they really this is it? in those Fuck. Age. And that, you and leave that time, with that nigga like that this is it. Right nah, there, they nah, just like. Nigga. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's just almost like all the formulas come together, the sheets, the cheese sheets. They, you know, it just. This nigga may give you a ring, hon. Yeah, I, I Damn. feel like they give you a ring. That's on the internet, huh, Mike? You don't give a fuck. <laughs> he's, 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 uh, but yeah, you know. That's, he's that's a Gemini. That's a he needs somebody sure. to push around, you know? That, that, that I can push you around or they can push me no, around? No, you. You need somebody to push you around. She pushed me around. Control. She a cancer. I don't know what that means. I'm a cancer. No, cancer oh, see, look. That's my cancer hair. female. They're listen, little sisters. Listen, let me explain but they, something. But they down for you. They down for you. Cancers are down. If you look up a horoscope, the relationship with cancers and Gemini, when they when they break up, it's like death. It's a form Damn. of death. It's a form of death when they break up. They Jesus. don't eat. Is it yeah. Because Fuck. No, you, I'm, serious. Hey, I'm serious. Is it because the Gemini has man. so you many personalities? Now gonna hold that shit to me forever, Mike. She might be can't kill nobody. Kills the cancer. We don't want to kill nobody. Hey, now. Cancer women. Cancer women are. Didn't they say that, Kiki? I will kill you if you break up. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. What'd you make you think okay. I'm gonna break well, up? Listen, I'm gonna tell you listen. that's what it said. Let's, let's, we died. Wow. We break okay. up. Listen. That's why your guys are fucked up like that, right? I mean, I don't think I'm fucked up. Yeah, yeah I think you are. I think I'm a little fucked up. Yeah. Uh, Just yeah, naturally. Yeah. But I be looking at other Geminis and I like to give myself a little more credit. Nah. Yeah, Kanye uh, is uh, Kanye is holding on strong enough the, to make me be like, I'm not him. I just look at that nigga and be like, I'm not Kanye, y'all. You know I could be doing that. I can I have to agree with that. I have to agree with 100 percent A hundred fucking percent with that. I could be doing this shit. I'm not. You not. But how long before you turn into Kanye? It's about how much money I make. It's about how much money I make, honestly. Absolutely. I agree with that. That. I agree with that. <laughs> the more you make, the kinder you are. You think so? You should be. Well, you, I ain't money, here. the more money you Is make. Is kind billionaire? The more huh? money you make, the real personality comes out. That's pers that's really my my uncle told uh, me no, that. He was like, you think so? Yeah, you become the person you really no. are when you the make the The person you probably dreamed of being, no? No. You think I, it's I a little exaggerated I mean, I mean, version listen, of who listen, you're supposed I to be? I think that people grow. I think that there's good people that get money, like, you know, uh, but I really do believe that money turns people into. The purest form of them? The, I, I think, think the, the purest form. Interesting. You know? I think money probably money blurs the, money things is, and makes... Money is the root of all evil, and it really is No, the love of that. money is. Money the lack is of money, money is a the lack yes, of money is the root that. of all yeah, evil. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. The lack of it. I agree with that. Yeah, the lack of money is the root to all evil. Well, the I lack don't think of. that. I don't think that. I think that if if being broke is your problem, you don't really have no problems because it could be so many. Sound things. like a rich nigga that said that. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I used to think that. No, let me tell you the one thing that I know helped me fucking get what I got was I learned, and Cat Williams taught me this. Cat Williams yeah. actually said this to me. He said, you ain't going to be rich, you ain't going to be famous, you ain't going to be shit until you get rid of your desperation. And, mm. and I was like, are you fucking stupid? I am desperate. I have no fucking money, so I am desperate. He's like, you're not desperate. You have a fucking talent. So I you will that. never, ever be without because you have a talent. Mm. He said, now stop thinking about desperation and think of a plan. Because when you change that thinking, now it's a plan. It's mm -hmm. not desperation. Like you, Because when you're desperate, you take anything. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You'll do anything. But when you're making a plan, you go, this is my brand. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. I, I know that I can hold out. There's a lot of deals. You affirmation, man. I always man. tried to be that type of nigga. Like, even, like, in getting in this industry, obviously, you get thrown so many different things. Like, you know, yep. with me being on MTV and being one of the only black people except for being on Wild and Out, right. uh, 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 you get thrown different things. You're like, yes. do you want I this know. to be something for you? I like, know. that don't really represent me. That's not my brand. I'm a nigga that when I started off early on, of course I could have used the money. I never hosted parties at, at clubs and Absolutely. shit. Because I didn't want Absolutely. people to think I was a certain brand. I was like, Absolutely. your brand's everything. We're all brands. So because I, this industry, I agree with that. this industry sees it and they feel like they can put it to any formula. You would not believe the fucking emails and the shit that I've gotten asked to do. And you go, I'm not putting my magic to that. Yeah. You know, I was, I was gonna, I had a seat to take care of, uh, take over the Ellen show. I, it's just like, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. It's not what I do. It's because you, know you can't saying? dance. You you, you know, know what I'm saying? Because like, I won't dance. That's the problem. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and and you know, it's just like it's just like you you have to really pick and choose to make sure that your career is what it is. Like like mm -hmm. I did get to a point where everything was paid off and everything was and I was like, what it is? What do I want people to remember me as? Mm -hmm. Legacy. I want people to remember like, oh man, she was always fun and always funny and always real and always kept it real. Facts. You know so. Yeah, I That's, try to, you know, try to leave behind something positive. I think in this industry, like, a lot, uh, mostly all this shit is a facade. So, like, I go into rooms and I meet people, and people be like, damn, fam, you're a person. You real as hell. Like, and that goes a long way. The mm -hmm. authenticity, the transparency, people feel like, oh, that's a real person right. within the industry exactly. that I know yeah. isn't real. So, no, no, yeah. I, I'm with you on they, that. Because they are, like, I'm sure we've had this, all had this experience where we show up somewhere and they go, oh, wow, that... That person like is really here, like yeah. that. No, I wasn't a cartoon. I'm just not in the TV. No, I'm an actual human. So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah this industry. Tell me about this weed and wine thing. What, what weed was that? and wine well, is wine and weed. My podcast. Uh, so you drink wine and weed? Like to weed. me, wine and weed is kind. Because if you drink two glasses of wine, you'll have the same weed high. Did you know that? Oh really? Like, cause when I was trying to get off weed, they was like drink a, two glasses of wine. Word. It, it would be like just smoking a joint. Nah, oh, me. Word. There's more crossfading like 
we, really? we we use it. It's not really the show isn't about wine or we we use them as kind of like social lubricants to like oh. have conversations about much needed things within the world. But we oh. just like we do that. We cover the news, the topical shows. We cover the news, uh, the weekly news. But we do all of that while we smoke and we drink. Yeah, so it takes okay. the stress and the pressure yeah, yeah, yeah. off the people to be like, hey, let's have an open dialogue about this fucking policy that was just passed over here while oh, we drinking yes. and we smoking. And we've had I, it, yeah, everybody um, on the show. It'd be super lit. I'm a recovering alcoholic, so if I, you guys wouldn't like me if I did that. Okay. Yeah. I, I, well, we, you know, you got to drink wine. You can yeah. just smoke the weed. Yeah, I was like, uh, you ain't got to drink, man. <laughs> yeah, don't drink. No, I'm going to do it. I'm going to stick to no, the no, show. No, 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 no that's knowing yourself. Oh, that's true. And, that's and I'm yourself. glad that you can say that too, yeah. because like that's the one thing too when you're dealing with a people who are alcoholics that they never admit that shit. Hey, listen. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm one. Yeah, I'm embarrassing. I'm an alcoholic. Yeah. You're embarrassed that you're yeah, an alcoholic. Yeah. You shouldn't be. Ooh, it's just um, it's ugly. It it's an ugly disease. It's an ugly fucking disease. And it's but a the, common disease, though. Yeah, as well. and that's what I But I think I got understand. five years, six years. What I have, Kiki? Yeah. That's fucking dope. Man, my dad was an alcoholic. But, it, like, my dad didn't have the luxury of maybe getting help or knowing that yeah. he can get help. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? He drank himself to death, like cirrhosis. So, so that's the thing. That's how my you mother died. Out, my exactly. mother died because of that as well. And you come from out of that? That's fucking big, homie. And that's breaking generational curses. Yes, like, you know, just my, my, so my sister play. died too. You know what I mean? Drugged and involved. But see, but see, now you're breaking that though. And you, yeah, yeah. you and hear you obviously showing, for you your story, your, your future. Strength, yeah. You showing your future that the shit can be done. The shit 100%. is not impossible. Because a lot of people do believe that it's if the people who really actually drink probably really believe I can't stop drinking. Yeah. And I know my dad believed that. My dad. No, I didn't want to stop. Well, it's I part of that, of I course. I could stop in there, but I did not want to stop. Yeah, but you mm. wanted to stop hurting people. No, I didn't. Really? No, I didn't. Mm. I had to... Um, so what made you stop then? My daughter. Mm. Mm. But it wasn't overnight. But yeah. It's all... You drink for years. That's what people always think. You're going to lose the weight in two days. It took you 20 years to gain all that weight. I it's lost, take you I lost in time. four months. Yeah. 100 pounds. Yeah. Or... That's awesome, man. Oh, no, I know I'm an animal, no doubt. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Shit, all of us is, child. In our own form and way. So what other, what dreams you have, brother? What do you want, man, like, I got what do you so want to see? Dreams. Your, listen, what's the perfect world for you at the end of the day? Perfect world is a, is a world for me to just, you know, be able to create and to, to, to um, you know, always have a message in the shit I'm doing. As I, you know, as I kind of, I want to say, fell into ridiculousness, it's something that, um, it's dear to my heart, it's something that I get to, you know, be funny on, but it's not necessarily my voice. Uh, so uh, going forward, I just like telling stories, being a, a storyteller. I think we all got something to say. So um, music is, is one outlet I've used. Uh, television and film, as I just said, my production deal with Paramount Plus. Um, so writing TV and film. I'm just a creative, uh, as you know, Gemini's. We're just creatives that yeah. wake you, up each day and want to fucking create something. What are you afraid of? Uh, Everything. No, I'm joking. Uh, I'm uh, I'm afraid of two things: raccoons, cause that's true, and cause they. <laughs> cause them, they got little them niggas got hands. They kill you. How you gonna break in my house? How you gonna break in my house, nigga? That ain't cool. Take the fucking top off the garbage can and not be a human. Thank you. They kill my pigeons too, and they. Thank you, nigga. We all got this. They fuck raccoons. They fuck raccoons. Dirty motherfuckers. Just some dirty. And I'm Peter. They never did no shit to Peter, so that's why Peter's protecting the bitch. The I raccoons are some rotten yeah. Okay, so guns. I remember mm -hmm. Kanye's first uh, album. Yeah. I, I, every time I see him do something stupid like what he's been doing, I remember his first album and go, yeah, I, there's no way you made this album and believe what you believe now, right? But I do remember one thing, listening to the album going, oh my God, dude's going to bring hip hop back. Like, I really love it. Do you think that that's what you're going to do with your rap? Uh, I ain't putting that much pressure on myself to well, bring yeah, I mean, hip hop. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, but I think I think the music that I'm doing is music that I want to hear. You know what I'm saying? Like I I just felt like oh, you know, I don't want to try to get in this game. I joke all the time and say, ain't nobody asked me to do this shit. Right. 
Ain't nobody asked me to rap. Ain't nobody come out and oh, we need you to rap. So I, if I'm gonna make that decision, I'm gonna do things that I want to do within the space. You know what I'm Absolutely. saying? Same thing if you're doing an indie movie, you like right. I'm putting my money up. Oh, I'm gonna ain't shoot no, what the yep. fuck I want to shoot even to if make it, fails, it. Even if it you, fails, you because put up what I, you yeah, get. I'm gonna yep. stand on those ten. What the me, fuck? Why is he watching? <laughs> Look at these motherfuckers. Is he be grabbing his balls? We're not supposed to be scared of these motherfuckers. That nigga doing math, fam. Yo, why you show the goddamn why you did it? Cats is gonna take over the fucking world. Why you show the goddamn raccoon? Yeah, no, I, I ain't like, scared. Like, I, look, like, oh, look at this moment. You see a TV guy. You see I know that's they a not white hair, right? You see that's a white that's hair. That's some rabies right? shit. Yeah. It is. Only white people that do that. That nigga got an umbrella? Shit. What is going on? He's a, oh, Does he have an umbrella? That's it's not in his hand. Shit. I swear to God. I swear to God. Is that in his hand? No, that's on the post, right? That's oh, because I was say, that motherfucker got an umbrella? He a real burglar. Look at him. That's that white man. He, he got, got somebody holding hand. his legs back there. He has a hand, though. Hold my legs, fam. Hold my legs. Ugh, Look at his hand. Nasty hands. motherfucker. He right by the register. Man, take this. That's, that's a hard, nasty man. motherfucker. This is from 2006. He's worse than Faces of Death, man. You disgusting See? rodent. Yeah, on. raccoons, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Ooh, that you see, but white hands. hands. White hands. Just look at the hands. Oh, that's a ferret. Is that a mongoose? No, that's a ferret. They're, they're horrible, too. Oh, they're I thought that was too. a mongoose. <laughs> they're horrible, too. Yeah, and people... I ain't about to domesticate no raccoons. I mean, stop doing all of that. Leave the animals alone. He's washing his hands. Leave the fucking animals alone. Leave 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 animals alone. They like wash. They're very neat. He doing dishes. He a slave? Nah, I think raccoons do your job right. Raccoons, look at his mat. Raccoons are niggas. Oh, no, doubt. No, they stick up that. kids. They that. stick up no, kids. Look at, the, say, look at the mask. That. No, look at the mask, man. They stick up kids. You, know, you see the mask. Yes, you I do don't see the mask. That. I don't that's, receive that. That's the stick up kid. No, I don't receive that. Is he washing his clothes? He is. The nigga Roger's a prisoner now, man. See? See? <laughs> yeah, I was telling you why. He's an old school prisoner. Right? Hello? Can I get like an apology? Look, not him being a criminal. Wow. <laughs> no, they get tired in rather I, quickly. I, I, no, no time. But they ain't black though. Look at though. that dirty ass shower. That is. Oh, a day's look at it. Oh, oh, that's a day's end. Oh, are they finna have sex? That's a day's end for sure. They finna that's have a sex. Hampton Inn actually. Oh, I, they, they, I know they, the colors. That's Hampton Inn. Are they fighting or is they about to? They about to do it. Raccoons about to do it. That's crazy. Yeah, turn the water on for them at least. That's gross, cuz. Yeah. Don't nobody want to watch it. Yeah, it is. That's nasty. Nah, man. but yo, I'm afraid that. I'm telling you right now, if a raccoon Why did in my you house, put this shit I'm on, moving. man? You moving? Out that motherfucker. Do you understand? That ain't true. Nah. I thought like you live in a place that raccoons might get in your house. No, dude. If they do, I swear to God, dude, you're going to hear about it on the news, all that shit. Why? Because I'm probably going to have a heart attack. Oh, uh, you think you're going to die from a raccoon? Dude, I, I wish dark. I could. I got to find, find a video. Hey, 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 hey we forgot and, this. And, and hit me. First look deal at MTV Studios. What's the fuck the studios? And you was on Hardball in 2001. What's Hardball? Right? Hardball? Hardball is the movie I did with Mike. It was a Keanu Reeves movie. It was, uh, I thought that I was the about that. the little baseball kid. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you was in that. Yeah, I was in that shit. No shit. I wasn't like no real character or nothing. I was just ranked in the state for baseball, so they brought me in. I thought he was hosting the news because it's a Hardball news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yes no, it is. No, I know it is. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not hosting the news. They would never trust me with that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, brother, you can do that. You can do I'll that. I'll be brother. off the teleprompter. That's not true. That's not true. Like, that's, that's not true. I mean, really, that's not true. I actually was there. That's crazy. We're that's not that. true. Did y'all get the? Y'all go check this. <laughs> I'm looking on Twitter right now. I'm on Shade Room, oh fam. I know God. it ain't true. <laughs> Fake news. Fake news. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, you are fucking a joy. I enjoyed this. I thought you Me was gonna too. be boring. Damn. I did too. That's why I hit him with that shit, but he's really he's, he's on top of the game. Be like a real person. Like really. That'd be cool, cool. though, don't it? <laughs> when you don't know a motherfucker and, and you'd be, be like, like, damn, I leave with something. Yeah. I, I leave Versus with... you meet somebody and be like, that nigga was boring as hell, man. <laughs> or, or Maybe you have to edit them, the fuck out of it. Or him. expect them to be like not boring and then you'd be like, damn, this motherfucker got nothing. No, no personality. Like, damn. Yeah. I'm glad to find that you have one. Son. Me too. I had a good time. Shit. Yo, me too. And I'm high. I was going to talk about your jacket, but. What you don't like about it? I mean, it's a little dated, but you know, it's cool. It is actually from 2018, actually. It's 1918. No, 2018. That's not 2000. Y'all think. Wow. Well, you said a little dated. So I thought you said wow. about seasons. I thought you were getting into fashion on my ass. No, this shit is like back was... in the cross color days. Like, I had. Oh, a, my whole outfit like, that when I was in college, yeah. I had a jacket like this. Flare jeans, fam. I do. And there's paint on it. Nigga, these are. 
Nigga, these are painter pants, son. They're painter pants, cuz. Yeah, what you need? Player. All right, All right. You, you, is, know? you is a crip for real. No, not. Not really, because you got that red on. Yeah, niggas can do what they want, though. Yeah, dread, yeah. Yeah, but don't go to uh, Crenshaw with that whole mix up there. Yeah. You might what was that, that shit like? What was that shit like being in the, the gang infested neighborhood and lifestyle? Dude, it, see, first of all, when it was like, they, motherfuckers wasn't shooting each other. They was like seriously fighting. fighting. Yeah. Like they fight. Like it was a fight. Like you were meeting places and fight. But most of the time, that neighborhood was their neighborhood. So that means that mother, cousins, friends, and shit. So it, when I was, I had a scholarship, and everybody found out I had a basketball scholarship. There was no staying out late. They saw me somewhere. They would make me go home. Like it's. Serena and Venus was uh, in that little tennis court that was up in the Linwood Park. Yeah. Dr. Dre came over to the, uh, we called it the mothership. It's a big gazebo in Linwood Park. Sometimes he would DJ there. So it was just like, I mean, you didn't want your people to be gangsters because they was just always in trouble. And then the crack game, like in the crack game, my brother was like, Deep in that shit, like straight fucking, like he was one of the biggest. See, and and, and New know. York is, is probably the same way as about nah, y'all uh, niggas in that neighborhood. No, nah, nah, y'all was more grimier though, I think, because New York is a harder place. It's really New tough. New York is a harder place. We out here in the sunshine, motherfuckers get to go home, like they got personal space. In New York, nigga, you hot, you cold, you <laughs> like you the real shit. Out there, I don't, I don't know how anybody gets Yeah, mm. I don't understand how anybody gets New, New York started this. Yeah. Like New York started that. It's cold. I, I just feel Chicago, like Chicago. I mean, I'm, I'm from Chicago. Uh, yeah, I, I, I got, I got, I can't yeah, let y'all yeah. just be talking out of gang shit. And we don't give our credit to <laughs> credit is due. I'm Al Capone, even, nigga. I'm you know, little Al Capone. But then even I'm the Bloods came even. from a Chicago, nigga. Yeah, yeah. I'm not OGT Rogers, shout to him. Yeah, I'm not going to know. I'm not going to dispute that. I'm not going to even dispute. But like, ain't nothing to be proud of either. But you know what's so crazy? I remember Shug, Shug, where. Suge lived that he lived behind the Compton swap me. Now that was all crip, but history, nobody fucked with history. History was all blood. Like he, that's how he ran that neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I man. don't know the purpose of the gang if you're not making money. Well, I mean, that's true. Chicago gangs are. Yeah, with, with that it's that. with money. Yeah. Versus gotta like you could out here, niggas just gang bang on your ass. No, with gotta no be job, money. they just bang on your ass. You're like, damn, fam. What you in the game for? Nigga? Only reason like, you're in the gang is for money. <laughs> yeah. If you're, in the, if you're in the gang, you don't have no money, nigga, then you, you're not in the gangster. No, but do you know mm. I still, like, I had to go to this place I was telling you I went to go see these singers, uh -huh. and I was in the area, and I had this red sweatshirt on, and I swear for a minute, I was like, oh, shit, what neighborhood am I in? And I was like, bitch. You're not Tupac. Take your motherfucking ass. Like, but I had to think about it for it's a second. It's very like, serious. Back in like, the 80s. Oh, yeah. Back, like, Chris Shaw, I was like, let me make sure I ain't got that. I was like, oh, no, this red. They go, they like red over here. And mm -hmm. I was like, I literally, and I told uh, Stevie, and he was like, oh, yeah. I'm, that was real, like, though, back in the day. <laughs> yeah, for sure. In the 80s, this is yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Play that shit. Yeah. Even the you girls, man. You could have your hat a certain way. Jump. Yeah, Even the girls. You had your hat banged a certain way, your colors. Even the girls. You would get jumped. For sure. Yeah, like real talk. So that's just who we are. We, everyone's like that. We just have different names. We call it different names, but it's mm -hmm. all the same. For Crews, sure. gangs, whatever. Bloods, Crips. Yeah, but we all the fucking same. loved them though, because they was, oh God, the gangsters were so sexy. <laughs> oh my God. They were so I remember this one flipper, flipper and little man. And he was not little. He was the most gorgeous man. And I don't even think little man's still alive. I think little man might be dead. I'm sure. A lot of them pass. <laughs> Who's I'm just taking some more mushrooms. I'm, I'm yawning. I'm what is this? Oh, y'all are doing that bullshit now, right? Uh -oh. It's gonna go viral, so we should. Uh, show what God. did you do? What, what did you do, Ty? Oh, word. oh, Tony Hawk is Tony one Hawk. of the nicest guys, right? I agree. He is so fucking cool. Like, hey. really cool. I like Tony Hawk. Check him out. Aww. I'm fucking high Ty. fucking with people. Ty. Oh, oh my no. God. No. You got on no, it? No, Ty. <laughs> what do I do with this? I saw you on the hover round one time, Ty. too, man. Like, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. Ty, Ty, let's not know? show this. Ty, let's not show this. No, we got to see it. Oh, we got to see it. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, shit. In front of Tony Hawk, son. In front of Tony Hawk, son. But you sat down smooth, though. 
I, you sat down real smooth, though. That was that was a real nice transition, yeah, the way yeah. you did that. Now, the way you yeah, played it yeah, off was very, for sure. was very gentleman-like. <laughs> your fit nice, too. Yo, I was just going to say that yeah, your fit, your fit was, Yeah, your fit was on one. Yeah. Nah. Oh, oh, yeah, I have oh, no. 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 Oh. Why they fucking with me, man? Why they fucking look, with yeah, me, you man? see the motherfucker? Why they doing this to me, man? Like he was going to catch you. Get your ass out the way. That shit was fucking They doing funny. this because I showed you all that crazy shit. That's yeah. why. That's why they That's doing that. Because y'all yeah. tortured us with that That video videos. is going to go viral for sure. <laughs> oh, they got that Mikey clumsy motherfucker. That shit was nice, though. That was nice. Man, You, you. it was real nice having you. I mean, especially my first show, you was Absolutely. real easy. I, I wish appreciate you all it. The success you know what I'm saying? Thank you, thank you, thank you for having for me. For real, real, though, I do wish you all of the love. Thank you so much. For real. Same to y'all, obviously. Y'all legends already, but. A legend? You know, nah. continue. I mean. Your legend mean I'm old. Though. No, it don't. You ain't have to come. Nah. Hey, listen. No, it don't. Start trying to accept it. It's, it's hard to accept, but just try to work on it, okay? Oh, what? I, I, don't, I don't like the legends. Oh, I know, but. but I don't like you don't? You, that's the whole Why thing. Not? I mean, because when people say not about what you like. and shit, you, you think. Like, no, I ain't done. Legend mean you done. I ain't done. Legend don't mean you done. No, you don't. You know? Le that's why you got living legend. Because legend exactly. don't mean you done. Exactly. Living you legend, I like that. Okay. I, I, I don't, but still, legend is pretty heavy. It is. That's a but heavy... But you put in a lot of work. No, know what, no. Know what legend is? I think, I think sometimes you this don't take... This is what you don't say. Legend is responsibility. We don't want okay, that responsibility. Okay, I like that. Ooh, okay. I like that. Hey, yeah, we like don't want that, that responsibility. Uh, leave on that. Like that. Legend's like responsibility, that. nigga. I don't want it either, but my wife keeps beating it in me and stuff. Oh, you know? Mike, Mike, you come on. You was like, I no, told you what you did for boxing. Legend, legend, I know, but legend, sometimes you, you, know, you have to do things sometimes that don't, you know, it's just it's just interesting. You know what? I want to ask you, have yes. you ever thought about training a boxer? Listen. You don't think you would be a good trainer? I'm not saying that, but... um. No, I wouldn't be. I don't. I can be, but I'm um, being a. That's deep. Imagine you're almost. You have to be a, a mother, a father, mm -hmm. a psychiatrist. That's responsibility. That's yeah. because you know the responsibility. Because yeah. it's a whole bunch of people who train who are not going All into my it friends, being hey, like, like let train people. I say, hey, brother. I wonder. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's because you know the responsibility. And I, and I, I fuck and with that. You know what? That I fuck with that too because yeah. a lot of people like we always think Michael Jordan or Magic Johnson can be yeah. good coaches. Mm -hmm. They say yeah. they're not gonna. Michael be good Tate, coaches. Sherman, they're they're like, like, nah, good. nah. I would fucking like be that motherfucker. Like, why you can't do this? No, listen. Let me tell you this one now. We really can, but we don't want to be responsible for us. We want to play. Mm. Sometimes we think, hey, I did all my shit already. Why I got to go back to that? That's just what they think sometimes. But let me tell you, somebody's a bad... Floyd Mayweather's a bad motherfucker. Right. He's just... In that gym, he's not Floyd anymore. He's humble. and He's hungry in the gym, training other fighters. With his big ego doing that shit, that's 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 incredible. I'm telling you, I, it's like most the, people can't like do it because passing, of their ego. Yeah. Great. Most greats like can't do it because the of their ego. Secrets, you know what I'm saying? Passing them. He's secrets. a good trainer. I would love for you to train a motherfucker because I I always tell my friend I was like he's just like a brute when he in the motherfucking. I got a question for you. Yeah. If there, I know hypothetical. If there was a fighter out right now that you that you see, you'd be like that person could use my training. Is there a fighter that exactly. you see out that you like? That person could right. definitely be a different fighter. If you saw I yourself. got one in mind because I'm, I'm a big boxer. Yeah. Fan. I got one in mind. I ain't gonna say it. I want. I want Listen, to hear it. Yeah. Everyone can use a little um, enhancement. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone. I see good in everybody. I don't see, listen, my trainer, he doesn't seem bad in any fighters. He just needs fighters that need to be more enhanced. You know what I mean? There's nobody that's bad. You, you need to, um, once you enlighten them, now they know. They ask, for so many years, no one had the, um, the knowledge of teaching them the right way of fighting. Mm -hmm. And fighting, it's good to be a different style of fighting, but fighting comes with your, with your spirit, your soul, your desire to win mm -hmm. more than anything else, Actually, your mm -hmm. desire to win. And want to be up more than anybody wants you to be down. That's Damn. what mm. that's what it's about. See, I mm. see like, like that shit right there, nigga. Nigga, nigga, nigga. I'm like, like boxing right now. I would have knocked a motherfucker out yeah. right now. I'm gonna get a celebrity <laughs> boxing match. <laughs> oh my god, let's go. <laughs> All right, this is from Hotboxing Dot Store. Okay. Hotboxing dot store. You, you just can't believe the shit that's going Shout on. Shout out set. to Shark Ninja. And don't for forget Tyson 2.0. If you want to get high with your girl or something. You smoke, sister? You smoke? Well, yes, y'all can smoke Tyson 2.0. Edit that out. And that'll be the show.
Shout out to Shark Ninja for keeping the air pure on this you, hot brother. boxing episode. I learn more about you every time I, more time I spend with you. <laughs> you gonna have all your dreams, everything you want, you're gonna get. I unless think you, you are. Get, unless you get Definitely. twisted. Just keep your focus. You, don't get your emotions mean, twisted. Don't get twisted. I kill some people. That's like your foot. Don't get twisted. Oh, man. Yeah. That was crazy. Did you see how he called that back? Yeah, it was. That I was like hard, that. though. I liked the way he did that. I liked the way he did that. Now we're going to go have some starch sandwiches. Hey, listen, nigga. We ain't going back with starch. <laughs> I just want to listen, man. Listen. When I was young, I had never saw anybody as poor to me, but as poor as I was in my family until I went to Mexico. Then yeah, I saw some poor motherfuckers. I said, yeah. Whole family outside. I'm selling chiclets, too. And I'm telling you, they got to sell a lot of chiclets. I bought a lot of <laughs> chiclets when I went. I was just... <laughs> Tell me about chiclets. The little chiclets, the little chiclets, you know, the gum. Tic Tacs, yes, yes. No, Tic Tacs, no, gum. They little like gum, little, little square gums. little square gums in there. Like, yeah. no, they come in four yeah, in the Yeah, they lose flavor like in five seconds. Like five seconds. But, but I have, them, like, like, bags of them bitches, because I, be, <laughs> I see the kid, I'm, I'm so, yeah. oh, yeah, give me the chick of that. Yeah. To see? That's chick like, yeah, I didn't yeah. remember that. Listen, brother, you see this camera? Yeah. It got millions and millions and tens of millions That's of people. Yeah. So you you tell them what you want them to know about you, how they see you again. Uh, Look. You can follow me on all my little social media um, little platforms, whatever it is, but it's uh, Stilo Brim, S-T-E-E-L-O-B-R-I-M. Pretty simple. Okay, you sure that's what you want to say? Yeah, that's what I want to say, man. I keep it okay. pretty, you know, smooth, man. I'm a chill dude. I know this, but... Yeah. Yeah, that fucked me up when he asked me to do that. When he asked that question, I was like, oh, um, I, I don't know what I want to say to these people. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing it was like uh, Miss, Miss America. everything, everything. And, uh, hey, guys, this is another great episode of Hot Boxing. I'm Mike Tyson. And I'm Lele Jones. And it's our man, CeeLo Brim. My God. <laughs> Take care, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. Oh my God.